when you look at Cat Williams, right, why do you think he didn't reach his full potential? Well, Cat had Cat was self destructive. There's some people don't know in life sometimes success can do things to you, sabotage your own career, right? You you want to be successful, but maybe you really don't want to be successful. So you do certain things to yourself and not knowing that you're doing things to yourself. So when you see Kevin Hart talk about he was on drugs, he was late to events, these things really happen. But there are some people in the world who can get fame. What's the football player? Uh, he used to do the Money Manziel, the Heisman Trophy winner a couple of years ago. Yeah, I know right? what you're talking about. You're talking about Jenny Manziel? He was on his way to become a superstar, and he self-destruct. No one did it to him. He did it to himself. So um, everybody knows Cat's situation is on the secret, that from drugs to fighting to I think he went to jail um, 50 times in one week. I'm being, being hilarious, you know. Um, you can't do that in Hollywood. And you're done. I, I hate to see that happen to him, you know, but... Um, he found the way to, well, he landed on his feet. So for him to still be working and, you know, his name is not as big as it used to be because of, once that happened, but he could still sell out shows. He could still get a little, little pocket change, you know? So I wish everybody well, Mighty. It's just that we're all grown. Nobody's perfect. People going to make mistakes. People going to do things and, you know, we wish them well. Right, right. But do you think when he look at Kevin Hart, he look at him like, damn, that should have been me? Well, obviously, right? When you sit back and you pay attention, if you, if you really look at it, like, yo, why are you on this guy's head all the time? Like, why, why, you, why you got your foot on his neck? Like, why are you always mentioning him all the time unless you hating on him? And every comic, if you're successful, no one gave us nothing. You really had to go out here, tell these jokes, be on the grind of these comedy clubs, meet different people and this person so they liked your act and this person wants to sign you. Or you might have to sleep in a horrible hotel at one time on a, on a bed that you wouldn't sleep on your own house. It's nasty. You had to stay in a, a you know, everybody didn't stay at the Ritz Carlton. Everybody didn't stay at the St. Regis hotels, right? You had to stay in some horrible rooms, go on stage and maybe only three or four people. Never discredit anybody that made it to the top because all of us went through that. Everybody driving cars. I remember Ricky Smiley used to be my opening act and we would drive certain places and he had to drive because I was the headliner and he had to drive and Look what Ricky Smiley's doing now. Every, all the comics, this, to see all of them doing well. I love it.